Okay, now we talked about all the equipment we've needed uh, for our processing. Now let's get started doing the uh, processing itself. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is mix our chemicals. I've got my three pitchers here, I've got them marked, and I've filled them up all with water at about, um, say, 85 to 105 degrees. Somewhere, uh, I usually, I don't ever measure the temperature other than I stick my finger in it and I say, hey, that's slightly warm. It's a kind of a warmer than lukewarm, not hot at all, but then not just straight room temperature either. Um, what I'm going to do is start here with my uh, pre uh, pre wash uh, borax, which is uh, I think it's about 50 grams or so of borax. I'm just going to dump that in to our thing. We're going to let that dissolve. We also have our uh, developer, which we're going to dump here. That's 25 grams of dectal, and we've got our um, thodium thiosulfate here and there's 70 grams, and uh, most of this stuff is going to um, dissolve pretty easily. Um, we don't really need to worry too much about the pre-wash. If it doesn't fully dissolve, it's not a problem. We want to make sure that the developer gets fully dissolved. Uh, so we, we're going to stir this uh, right up front here and make sure that's uh, well stirred. That, that dissolves pretty easily. And the last thing that doesn't dissolve as easily is our fixer. We can have this water be a little bit warmer. We're not going to be using this for almost, you know, 15 or 20 minutes. So it'll have a chance to cool down or it needs a little bit more heat to get it to dissolve. Um, we definitely want to give this a stir or two. Make sure to stir it probably right before we use it. Okay, now that our chemicals are all mixed up, now we're going to set them aside and start working on our film. Now it's time to load up the uh, the film uh, into our dark tank. Now, I can't show you with a real uh, roll of film because I'll expose it in the light, but let's pretend that we're in our dark room now and the lights are off. Uh, we even waited a few seconds uh, for our eyes to adjust so that we can make sure that there are no light, light leaks in our room. That might be important if you're uh, developing something like 500 speed or some of the faster films. For this really, really slow stuff that I'm using today, few light leaks isn't going to make any difference. We open up our film. Let me set the tank aside here a little bit. And what I do is, um, this is hand processing and it's very primitive. All we're doing here is I'm just going to unreal the stuff. Usually I'm left-handed, we'll do it this way. Um, and every once in a while I spin the roll a little bit so that there's a twist in the film. Keep spinning. And I just come up with a ball of film in my hand. Just keep gathering it up. There we go. Once we've got our ball of film and it's, you know, kind of loosely balled up, I'm going to twist it a little bit and make it into a nice ball that's going to fit into our dark tank. This is probably only about 70 feet or so. It's not a very tight fit. 100 feet would fit a good bit tighter in this tank. Uh, and then we make sure to get our top on well and that there's no film sticking out. Then we can turn on our lights and, our, and then we can do all the rest of the process out in the light. I'm going to go ahead and uh, load up a real piece of film in the dark. So as I'm doing this video, we'll really be uh, developing one roll of film. Okay, the uh, tank is loaded up with our exposed film and it's, we're ready to start developing. Here's our pre-wash. Uh, some, uh, some of our borax hasn't completely dissolved, but that's not really going to be a really big problem. I'm just going to start and uh, pour in our pre-wash. Probably a good stir would be good right before you dump it in. Normally, you'd be doing this right in a sink so that any of your spills wouldn't cause a problem. Once our, our uh, tank is nice and full with the pre-wash, I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for two minutes, and then I'm going to give the, I'm gonna make sure to agitate the tank here. We wanna try to get our um, film as completely coated with our pre-wash as possible and let it get in there and soak. So we wanna make sure that we've got enough that our tank is um, 
the right size for the amount of water we put in it. And we want to try to make sure that the entire batch of film gets completely soaked. I'm going to agitate this for 30 seconds to a minute. After you're done agitating it for uh, your 30 seconds to a minute, you can uh, let this set for another minute or so. Your timer, timer will go off, then we can dump this pre-wash out. Okay, our timer's gone off. Now we can dump our pre-wash out, or at least start to dump it out. Uh, what we're doing with this pre-wash is uh, soaking the rim jet off of your film. Uh, so this step is optional if the film you're processing does not have a rim jet coating on it. But if you're using something like the 7243 uh, and 7244 and some of the other uh, films, they've got a black carbon coating on the backside of them, uh, which you have to get off or else you'll never be able to see through the film. Some of the coatings can be very difficult to remove and some of them fairly easy. The uh, Remjet coating on the, on the uh, 7243 comes off pretty easily. So as you're gonna, as I'm gonna pour this, um, as I'm going to pour this uh, pre-wash out, it should look very dark, uh, dark purple and black colored. There we go. Our tank has been emptied. Uh, you can uh, give the the uh, you can give this film a quick uh, rinse if you'd like in uh, regular tap water at uh, room temperature. It's not necessary. Uh, but it's probably good. And as each time you uh, pour another step in or another rinse in, you probably keep seeing a little bit of a rem jet come out. So your, your water's going to stay dark. Okay, we've uh, dumped out the pre-wash. Now we can, uh, we can put in our developer. Uh, take a quick look to make sure it's all uh, dissolved. But this dissolves pretty easily, so uh, this looks pretty good. There's no bits in the bottom of it. Okay. We're going to do something very similar to we that we did with our pre-wash. We're going to give our uh, our tank some good agitation, especially uh, the first minute or so. We want to have it agitated well. After one minute of agitation, you can you can let it rest. Give it another quick agitation every minute or so for 10 or 15 seconds, and at the end of your five minutes or possibly six minutes, depending on your film, uh, we can dump this out. Okay, our timer has gone off. We're at our five minute mark. Uh, there aren't many uh, things in this procedure that are uh, totally critical, but the timing of the developing stage is, is probably the most critical here, uh, five to six minutes, depending on your film. But let's get this dumped out. A quick rinse is usually really good at this stage to act as a stop bath. So I'm just going to pour in just straight uh, room temperature water. The rinse uh, step here between developer and fixer doesn't, uh, it doesn't take very long. You can just pour it in basically, give it a quick squish, and then pour it out again. Okay, we dumped out our, uh, our rinse after the developer. Now it's time for the fixer stage. And if you take a quick look here, everything's dissolved in our fixer. Uh, it's uh, ready to pour in. Okay. A little bit left. Looks good. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Let's give it a quick agitation. This step is um, really not nearly as critical. We don't really have to uh, freak out too much about time. And what I'm going to do is let this set a couple of minutes. 